hey uh, let me show you one uh, example here so I have this endpoint and it is written in me this data so I want to consume this external uh, endpoint external API in my application how do I do it there were two ways uh, West uh, template and web client as you might have already knew that West template is going to be deprecated from version 3 I mean not deprecated means there is no much support and not much of development is going to happen on the West template so as per spring uh, they expect us to use the web client and with the help of web client we can make the asynchronous calls that means the response should not come you no know, at, at a time it can come one you no know, whenever we found some response it can come again whenever it found some data again it will come so whereas rest template it is going to be synchronous that means you hit the rest you hit the head end point and you wait for the data to come whereas that waiting period is reduced in case of web client because it is not waiting instead it is executing the other you know lines of code below it and whenever it found some data it will return us back so as well as with the well with the help of web client we can do the synchronous calls as well okay so in this example i am going to show you that one and in this playlist we are going to see few more examples on top of this okay so first things first how do i going to use uh, web you know uh, web client because web client is going to be the future this is nothing but a reactive programming style okay so uh, reactive spring reactive is going to be the future and this is how it going to move okay so in order to use this you need to download this package web flux so uh, spring starter web spring starter web is our normal one we use and spring starter web flux is the one we needed okay so uh, once we have it here then uh, one more thing you need to do is you need to take the you know that uh, builder variable okay this one okay so let me delete this and let me start fresh so that it would be easy for you guys to understand okay so uh, I have this particular uh, class I have named it as API postal code this is my rest controller okay so I am going to create a get call so if they wait get mapping and uh, here I'll give path as something like postal okay, I'm not mentioning what is going to consume and all so as of now let me take it as a void get postal info let's take this as of now and let's import our get mapping first okay and let me get this URL okay so get into a variable called let's say string url okay then once you have this end point what you need to do as i said we need web client right like this we need right so uh, web client is nothing but web client dot builder we need to take builder is equal to uh, web client dot builder object we need to take like this but the problem with this is like each time you are creating you are hitting this one you are hitting this end point it is going to create a builder object for us okay and uh, it is it is you know uh, it is creating a builder object for us right with the help of this one so it is nothing but the you know uh, uh, not a singleton design pattern here it is following the prototype design pattern which we don't want because for each request we don't want to create an object so what i will do is my idea is to when my application is running i will create a object of this and I will inject that object into my class okay so to do that 
what I'll do is I'll simply take uh, this creation of object into the weight bean. Okay, here I will take web client dot client dot builder as get web client simply return return web client dot builder okay it says return in me this and in my code here I will auto wire this so when my application is starting this object is going to be created and it will be placed in spring IOC and that object I am uh, I am doing the dependency injection into this class okay so web client dot builder as let's say like web client okay now I have the web client ready for me then I simply need to build this okay so let's say like instead of this let's say like client because the name is going to be little tricky so let's say web client dot I will go to build this with the help of get if you observe this this is nothing but builder design pattern guys and it is one of the most important interview question as well okay then I will take my URI URI is coming from this variable URL then what I will do is I will retrieve that and I am going to make body to mono okay so let's see what that means and here as I said I am going to make uh, you know synchronous call so I will try to block the asynchronous nature with the help of the block okay so body to mono this one we will see okay so here what we are doing is with the help of this builder object we are forming a get request with the help with this URL okay presented in this variable URL and I am retrieving that one and I am making the response this is my response right and I need to prepare the pojo on this right so what you can do is you can prepare the pojo here uh, what you can do is you can simply make something like uh, simply like uh, json to pojo conversion tools we have in online right? you can use that as well let me take this guy paste it here convert sorry paste it here and convert and you get this entire thing guys the same thing I have used here in this package copy pasted so there were two first one is my uh, post office so these are nothing but uh, okay take this guy in put it in notepad plus plus Hopefully, I should get properly. Language as JSON. Okay, this is not coming that easily. No issues. So, as you could see here, this is ending here. Okay. So, this JSON object is ending here. It is having name, district, post, all these variables, all are of string type. Okay, so I have taken all of them in the string type and I have used the JSON property because this naming is not proper here. They have used the capital, but we should use the camel in case. That means 
first should be small and if it is a word then the second should be caps something like this okay so we have this as a single pojo and in post office it is a combination of all of them so it should be the list so here i have used list okay and the outer one are nothing but message status and uh, that's it message and status and this is a list okay and if you observe properly here there is a list okay this is a not a good pattern guys because we should not send list directly we should send as a status then inside then in the value then we should send something this way but it's fine okay so they have sent like this uh, as a array okay this is nothing but list okay to json it is nothing but array for us is list okay so what we'll do how do we need to you know handle that situation okay so let's see that so this is in my uh, post office details right this is my post office details so what i will do is here here post office details dot class this is my post office details right but it is expecting the away here right so i have given this and the same details will be here so this entire thing is going to return me this object post office details object right so post office let's say like list okay now this list i will return okay so here it should return me this value instead of void and i am returning that post office details okay and where am i running this application i am running this at 8087 okay now let me go and execute this guy And also I would like to tell one more thing here is we are writing this into mono right so mono means either it will go into return me single value or no value over there flux means it is going to return me multiple values okay so I have started executing this now what I will do is I need the end point right so postman let me open the postman if you have any doubts guys you can please uh, mention in the comment section so all you need is this guy starter web flux that's it so let's see what we have got here so localhost 8080 slash postal this is the end point right localhost 8080 slash poster this is the end point and this is my get call and if i hit i should get the response now you could see we got the response properly status as 200 so this is a small demo guys on top of this demo we will see some other videos as well in near future thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off